Hello everyone, my name is Jenny Di Peralta. I am the daughter of Jesus and Minette Di Peralta. I am the granddaughter of Grandma Sunny. On behalf of my family, I would like to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts and to everyone that is present there today and who have sent their condolences to my family during this difficult time. I'm compelled to say a few words about my grandmother because she was such an amazing woman <laughs> and it breaks my heart that I can't be there today with her <laughs> she was an incredible woman she came to the United States when I was two years old to take care of me and my siblings my older brother Jeffrey and my older sister Jill uh well my parents were busy working so often it was just me her and my siblings she cared for us like no other she would walk us home from school she made sure we were fed she dressed us From a very young age, I can remember my grandma. She was always reading her Bible. She was telling us her church stories. She taught us the importance of God, the importance of purpose and compassion and integrity, and to lead with love. She also instilled the importance and the power of knowledge and education. She was an avid reader. She read the newspaper every single day. And she would keep stories, her favorite stories. She'd cut them out and she'd put them in her closet so we could read them later. She moved back to the Philippines while I was still a teenager. And I thought when she left that that was going to be the hardest goodbye. Little did I know that this goodbye is even harder <laughs> because I cannot imagine that this is what it has come to <sighs> she was my bestest friend growing up and even though we were oceans away countries apart we were so far away I made sure that she was able to witness the woman that she made me today as much as I traveled I made sure to send her pictures <laughs> because that's how far she's taking me on all my travels I'd say wait let's take one more picture so I can send it to my grandma back home she was amazing she was the best the most loving grandmother I could ask for her faith was strong and she sacrificed everything for us and my family I've done countless video chats with her over Facebook. We'd talk, we'd laugh, but every time she made sure to give me advice. She made sure to tell me to help your brother and your sister, watch over your mom, and finish your studies. <sighs> the last conversation I had with her, I was able to tell her, that I passed my RN boards. I told her I loved her. And I told her to wait for me. I told her to wait for me until I got there. But I told her that it's okay. It's okay. Because I know you're tired. So if you
you can't wait. Then I'll see you again. This pandemic has put a strain and impossible restrictions <laughs> where my family couldn't be there with her during her final hours. <laughs> I am so sorry, Grandma, that we couldn't be there. <laughs> I'm so sorry that we weren't able to visit I'm sorry I couldn't kiss or hug you one more time. I'm sorry I couldn't sing one last song with you. But I want you to know that you have had the largest impact of my life. Thank you for everything you've done for me. For all the sacrifices you made for our family. Thank you for always being there for me. I love you forever and ever. I promise to keep all my promises. I made you. I know you will be watching and guiding us. And I'm going to miss you so much. <laughs> I'd like to say thank you to all my family who has helped us. Well, we couldn't be there to make these arrangements. Thank you so much. Thank you to her caregivers. Who have been a tremendous help. And for being there for my grandma. <clears throat> During her final moments. I'd like to end this by saying, I love you, grandma. And I'm, I miss you so much. Thank you. Thank you for everything you've done for us. <clears throat> Thank you.